is something they can do for the children. So let's get let's be about it. A special election in Pine Bluff will begin this week to potentially raise tax dollars for, among other things, a brand new high school. The Pine Bluff School District proposing a millage to help reconstruct, refurbish, remodel, and provide better technology for high school students. A Riley Birdwell joining us live this evening with a reaction from those who will have the final say. Of course, I'm talking about the voters. Riley. Absolutely, Kevin. Well, I spent this afternoon in Pine Bluff talking to the people here in the city for and against this issue. Now, someone that I spoke with who's against this measure tells me that they just simply don't want to pay more in taxes. And someone on the other side of the fence tells me that they think this will pass through pretty easily. Now, the school district is requesting more than $65 million for a millage that will help build a new high school and will merge Dollarway High School into Pine Bluff. Now, according to the school district, the tax extension will go into 2053 and is the highest proposed millage in the county. Wynn Trafford is an alumni at Pine Bluff High School and in 1991, that's when he graduated. He says from there on out, he says the school could benefit from these tax dollars. Basically band-aids for decades uh, and this 65 plus million dollars in addition to the 12.8 million from the state will help get not only a new high school but also make additional improvements across the campuses uh, within the district. The millage will increase the amount taxpayers will pay per month by $4. There were a few people that I spoke with who say they don't want to increase their taxes for now and did not give reasons why they wanted to vote no. Now, early voting does begin tomorrow and it will go all the way through Election Day, which is August 8th. Reporting live in Pine Bluff, I'm Riley Birdwell. Back to you guys.